everybody. Happy Monday. Hope you're all having a good uh, had a good weekend, having a good day. A little bit of uh, crazy weather out here, so forgive me if there's any internet issues. But a uh, reminder to check out TrueDFS.com. Obviously, a lot of things going on with the partnering with uh, SaberSim, and check out that on the site. And uh, all my picks every day, all my bets every day, Sheets' is projections, um, Rody's picks every day. So make sure you want to check that out. Please like and subscribe and all that stuff if you haven't already, and check out the Discord. I'm going to jump on into my plays now. Uh, it's going to be a wild slate. We just, you know, basically all the Celtics are out. Uh, we've got the Portland wildness with the OKC wildness uh, in the last game. So I'm sort of going to run it through, run through you guys. I'll start with DraftKings. It's pretty similar on both sites, but Derek White and Marcus Smart, uh, I think you want to pick one of those guys. If you're not, you probably want to play Pritchard. I think that it's all three are, are great plays. I think you could play two of the three together if you want to. There's a lot of ways you could go about it, but I do think Derek White and Marcus Smart are really, really solid plays. I'm a little worried about Boston keeping that game close without all without Tatum, Brown, Williams, and Horford. But uh, should they keep it close, it'll be because of these guys. And even if they don't, these guys will probably get there. And if you do think it's going to be a blow, I think then you side with the Pritchard, Neesmith type of thing. Um, maybe go a little bit away from White and Smart. But as of right, right now, White and Smart are definitely pri priorities for me. Uh, that's then we get into the to the other guys in the next part. Uh, the Pritchard Tice with nobody else in the front court, basically. Uh, Neesmith, Williams, and Brown. Um, that's, that's Grant Williams. He's the other one in the front court. I have it. This is my or ranking of how I have it right now. It's really close between Pritchard and Tice. And I think you can make a good argument Tice over Pritchard, but because you do still have White and Smart in the backcourt. But I have a feeling they're going to play some three guard lineups and you can have what, uh, Smart guard any position. So I don't think that's going to be an issue, especially against a team that plays a guy the size of Van Vliet. So you can put Pritchard on him and then mix in White and Smart, who are good defenders on everybody else and they're long enough. So I do like Pritchard the best of this group, barely over Tice. I think Neesmith is a wild card, but if he's starting, I definitely have serious interest. Uh, Grant Williams is one of those that's going to be lower owned of the bunch. So I think that you want to mix in some of him if you're in your multi entries, but I have him a little further down. And then Greg Brown is, is questionable. If, if, if we know he's going and he's going to start, I would love to play him, but that, that game doesn't start till 10. So just keep that in mind. So Greg Brown could easily be much higher on this list than he is right now, but this is sort of the value guys you're, you're, you're using in my opinion. Um, then we get into the OKC madness against with the great match against Portland. I have it right now, man, Maladon. You could easily switch those two around, Poku, Roby, Waters in that order. But I think you could easily switch around the Poku and Roby, and you could easily switch around Maladon and man. This is just the way that I have it ranked for right now. And why are we saving all that? So we can spend up for Jokic, Trey, then Murray. That's my order on DraftKings. It's really close between Trey and Murray. But I, I do like Trey. We want to see what happens with Bogdanovich and Gallinari before I commit. But if one of those guys is out, I like Trey better. If not, I like Murray slightly better. But I, I still think I, Trey's very solid either way. And then you get to uh, Jordan Poole, Butler, Jimmy Butler, and Bam Adebayo. That's the order I have. Those three sort of similar, similarly priced on DK. And I think they're good plays on both sides. But that's the order I've got it right now. On FanDuel, you have the same thing, white and smart, one of those two or both. It's fine. Uh, I, I, I sort of like the idea of playing one of those guys more with Pritchard. I do have White ahead of Smart a little bit. And then uh, you have Tyson and, and Brown. And I think Tyson is a little even a more solid play over here. He doesn't take up the center spot. And we're obviously going to play Jokic. So it's going to be hard to, you know, not hard, but you have some DraftKings there. Just, that takes up all your center spots. On FanDuel, you have power forward eligibility for Tyson. Uh, and then you get Greg Brown also at the, uh, as the Chifo, who, who I think has some upside. But we just don't know what's going to happen. He's still questionable. And Portland is obviously tanking, but you think they would play him the minutes. Uh, one guy who I didn't put on this list is Keon Johnson. And I may, by the end of the day, change my preferences and have Keon Johnson as one of them. It's just going to depend on how the lineup construction goes. I do like that he has Ford eligibility, but I have him currently rated a little behind guys like Pritchard and all, and, you know, even Neesmith um, at the moment, because he's been very unproductive in his minutes, although his minutes seem more secure than some of these other guys. Uh, then on, on FanDuel, I like Maladon, Man, Poku, Waters in that order. Um, Waters is sort of a, a more of a tournament -y play, but I, I do think that there's a chance that he could get good run, and it's a great matchup against this Portland team, so I would I would be mixing him into your things. You could put throw Wiggins in here, Aaron Wiggins. I just am personally not on Wiggins right now, but I don't mind if you want to throw him into the mix as well. And then you have Jokic, Murray, Trey. I have a little bit different over here. I think Murray, you know, you get a little more steal upside, block upside, all that stuff, and it's more valuable on FanDuel, so I have Jokic, Murray a little ahead of uh, Trey. But you can actually play all three of these guys together pretty easily, and I, I actually like that quite a bit. If you're not going to do that, then you go to Halliburton, Bam, Butler, and Bam, and I, that's, that's the order I have them ranked. 7,500 for Halliburton is too cheap on FanDuel. 
Um, so that's, that's, that's what I've got for right now. It's going to be a wild slate. I'll be live at 545 Eastern time on the channel and uh, hope to see you guys there and let's make some money tonight. Good luck, everybody.